defense and run, it's almost automatically going to come out with a W. Yeah, it's like night and day. Uh, I think uh, when we do that, we give ourselves the best chance to win. We have a lot of capable guys on our team. And, you know, I think that um, you know, we're going against a team and you never know, you know who's going to step up or who's going to be that night. I think that's where I'm at. So what happens in like a game three where you guys don't play the way you know how to play? Same results. Uh, it's usually we lose. You know, so we have to continue to do that. Um, Keep playing together. I think this year we were one of the only teams that had four guys averaging between 14, 18, 19 points. So, you know, we're doing well. Do you find yourself looking across at the other conference, what happened to the Lakers, and then you get the, you know, the Spurs around? This is really anybody's uh, title this year. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I think a lot of people thought one of those two teams would come out of the West, you know, and uh, for the both of those guys to lose, I think it just shows that, like you said, it's, it's pretty much open. Can you contrast that to previous years you've had in the league? And when, uh, when some, you could yeah, maybe pretty much say, okay, so-and-so is the absolute team to beat. Yeah, you would think so at times. The Lakers had their run. The Spurs had their run. You know, so they were definitely probably the top two yeah. out west that would be there. And I mean, like for the championship, there have been years where that's been the case. Is this the most wide open you've seen, I guess, is my question. Yeah, it might be. Uh, you know, all these teams are left. You know, anybody can win it. You know, and I think that gives hope to all of us. So we just have to go out there and take one game at a time. Can you point to a key that?